Hey, how do you remember the axial and appendicular skeleton? I spoke to one person, she said, I remember appendicular because it has appendages, like it has uh, limbs, it's extra bits to it, so appendicular is appendages. Another way that I quite like is the axial skeleton has one of everything, so that's the rule of the ones and twos, basically. So an axial skeleton, the bit in blue, is all in the ones. So you only have one skull, one vertebra, you only have one rib cage. So one sacrum, one sternum. So they're all the things that you have one of, whereas you have two of everything in the appendicular skeleton, because obviously we're symmetrical. So two of the of the pelvic symmetry. So remember it's pelvic bone. So remember you have two of each. Remember there's a join here. So they are two. They're not one whole pelvis. Two arms, two hands, two feet, two legs, two shoulder blades, two clavicles. So when you're reminding yourself, or you have to answer it in your exam, which is which, then think, do I have one of those, or do I have two of those in my body? And that should help you remember your axial and appendicular skeletons. If you could pop a little comment below, actually, it'd be really good. I'm running out of questions to answer for you guys for anatomy, physiology, and nutrition revision. So please do put some questions below so I can uh, help you out with those. I'll speak to you soon, but let me know how you get on. Take care, bye.